So I've had quite a few projects on the back burner for a while now, and just now I finally had the time to start wrapping them up one by one. The latest is a program I just finished called Refresh Sense. And I know there's already a lot of programs out there that do the same exact thing, and some even come built in, like with ASUS and MSI for example. But hear me out, just for one second here. The one thing that led me to create my own program was the fact that I've just never really had great results with any of those other programs in the past like switching back to a higher refresh rate when the laptop is plugged back in, or especially failing to adjust the refresh rate the next time you turn the computer on if the power source was changed while it was off. So I took all of those little annoyances and I did my very best to fix them in Refresh Sense. In short, Refresh Sense is a program that, just like all of those other programs, it just dynamically changes the refresh rate on your laptop display when the power source changes, but the difference is, is that it actually does it reliably. So even if you plug your computer in or unplug it while it's powered down, Refresh Sense will detect it the next time you boot into Windows and it will change the refresh rate accordingly. So with that said, uh, this is probably going to be a fairly short video. All I really wanna do is just quickly go over the installation and then um, give a short demo on how it works. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first things first, go ahead and open your web browser and head over to rmtechcentral.com. Hover your mouse over software and click Refresh Sense. Scroll down a little bit and click the download button. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and locate it. In my case, it's in the downloads folder. And once you found it, right click it and then select extract all and then extract. All right, so we see the uh, Refresh Sense installer right here. You do have to run this as administrator. So what you wanna do is right click it and select run as administrator. Uh, this smart screen pop-up is something I'm still dealing with right now. I submitted this to Microsoft a while ago for analysis. However, it's still pending and I don't know how much longer it's going to take. Uh, I promise you this is, not, uh, this is not a dangerous piece of software. It's not malware or anything like that. Um, but if you are st still getting this pop-up uh, by the time this video is released, uh, all you have to do is click more info and run anyway. Anyways, here is the uh, Refresh Sense installer. It's very straightforward. Just click install. And installation is complete. So we can go ahead and exit out of this. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the... Uh, advanced display uh, settings here so you can see the refresh rate uh, and I'm going to unplug the computer and there we go 60 Hertz go ahead and plug it back in and here we are back on 240 Hertz uh, so what I want to do now is shut the computer down and then unplug it when it's shut down to show you that when it boots back up, uh, we are actually at uh, 60 Hertz at that point. The only thing is this is going to shut down my screen record. So what I'll do is I guess I'll just use my phone and uh, uh, record the screen with this to make sure that you guys can see it. So with that said, let me just get this started. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut it down right now. All right, so the computer shut down. I'm going to go ahead and pull the cord and turn it back on. And here we go. Let's go ahead and open up the advanced display settings again. And we should be on 60 hertz. And there we go. Go ahead and shut it down again. This time I'll plug it back in and we'll be back to 240.
Okay, no. Stop. <laughs> I swear Nextcloud like updates every other day. It's crazy how many updates they put out. Um, all right, so let's go check advanced display settings again. And there we are, back on uh, 240 hertz. So go ahead and unplug it one more time. And there you have it. So, this camera, so you can see me, my beautiful face. So just like I said at the beginning of the video, it's pretty much the same thing as uh, any other program out there that does this. The only difference is that it's a little bit more reliable uh, and you can unplug or plug the computer back in, whatever the opposite was, what it was before you shut it down and uh, it will pick up on that change and change the refresh rate accordingly, as I showed you in this little demo. So um, I hope that you find this helpful. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and give this video a like if you liked it, um, and give it a thumbs down if you hated it. So either way, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and locate it. In my case, it's in the downloads folder. Okay, dude. What the f I'm starting to get f off. I don't understand why every f thing I do is like a f All right, so first things first, go ahead and open your web browser.